Please be on wrestling. This is Denver, Colorado. Oh, man, I'm the place being joined at this time by. Oh, you're Matt Ryan. How many times have we met each other before tonight? Uh, about 72. All right. Well, it's good to meet you for the 73rd time. Well, you know. Got a bit of a rivalry between JT Dunn and Kimberly in Beyond Wrestling. I'd like to bring it to ISW. You're going to have to talk as loud as me if you want me to hear you. Well, if you want me to talk as loud as you, I can go louder and louder and louder and louder until everybody in this room has tinnitus and then some. Please, let's make this experience as uncomfortable as possible for those watching the match, both in person and at YouTube. Dot com slash beyond wrestling. I felt a little uncomfortable with that plug slid down your back and the microphone. That's weird. And there's a big arm drag. Right, so check it out. Check it out, Matt Ryan. Here's the deal. All right, JG Dunn lost to Kimberly. Non tournament action in November. Tournament for uh, Block A. Met her once again in the finals of Block B, where he was successful in defeating her. Went on to win the tournament for tomorrow, too, over in Queen Anne. They had a third match by demand, a three out of five falls match. All five falls went to a draw, I don't know how that works. JT Dunn was victorious, so I think Kimberly certainly has something to prove in this contest. Well, not only does she have something to prove for herself, but for the entire female gender, she has to prove that the thinking of women being lower, smaller, insignificant, basically uh, reproductive machines with shoes is nothing more than a fallacy. And she goes to work here with JT Dunn. And while I don't necessarily agree with that assumption, she has to prove myself and these fans that it's not true and going to work. I think that that's exactly the way that you feel about women. Well, how do you know? I don't know. This is only the 73rd time that I've met you. Well, you see, providing nothing but rumors and conjecture. And, well, I have my legal textbook over there. And I can find an interesting way to make Denver, Colorado no longer the owner of Beyond Wrestling. And I can sell it to a nice little Chinese restaurant outfit out of East Lansing. We don't know anything. You can't, you can't sell anything. Well, you know. JT Dunn, Kimberly, they know each other very well. And both of them are the kill shot right off the rip. After this match was in Colorado. Kimberly, babe, you didn't hear it from me. The fans getting behind both of these combatants. The one thing I have to say about Beyond Wrestling is that it has a certain kind of atmosphere that I can't necessarily define as both competitors square off. And uh, Bill Carr getting involved. Can you believe it took me almost three minutes to put out this Instagram video? Follow us at Beyond Wrestling on Instagram and Twitter. Looking at your thumbs, I can't believe that big. Big elbows and forearms, back and forth, and Kimberly taking control, but JT Dunn coming back out, watch that elbow pad. That right, on, that right elbow pad. That was Kimberly, she knows JT Dunn better than pretty much everybody in the professional wrestling game. As you mentioned earlier, their credentials between each other seem to be second to none. They're building quite the rivalry here, and it continues to trapped in the closet. Certainly, like I said, they've traded so many falls between the two of them. JT Dunn's going to be looking for that knockout elbow. I don't think he's going to be looking for the rolling elbow with that elbow pad on. But anytime an opportunity presents itself to strike, you're going to jump on it. Kimberly, look at the console bomb. She's going to be hitting the flat on her back. No, she's not. She's got to get up, and she's got to fight JT Dunn. Might be bleeding, and Kimberly has to be like a shark and find a way to get JT Dunn to finally go down for the count. He might be bleeding from the mouth, sir. Now JT Dunn for Providence there, and he wrote to the show with me today. He was going over some of the strategy for Kimberly. I was trying to give him some pointers. I don't know if that's fair or not, but honestly, he has all the help that he can get because Kimberly is an incredible wrestler. Not just, not just for a girl, not just for a, what did you call her, a reproductive machine with shoes? Yes. That's gross. Well, you know what? She's got to prove those words wrong, and JT Dunn might be trying to do something the whole thing. No! Oh, man, caught him right out of the chin. JT Dunn out of his feet, tumbling to the floor. Gonna hang on right there. But I think Kimberly, perhaps a tunnel machine, is going to be looking for that suicide dive. Trying to get momentum off the ropes. Oh! JT Dunn looking the worst for wear, landing on that hard wooden floor. That could give him a concussion. That could in aggravate that injury to his mouth and jaw area from earlier in the contest. This cannot look good, and it could be all over. Kick out at two. And you know what? That was that was Kimberly taking JT Dunn a little too lightly, not pressing down on the shoulders. 
stop forcing the count to a three. Well, you know, not too long ago, we saw a female competitor by the name of Anna Star here in ISW, and I gotta say, if there's anybody that can rival her toughness, her tenacity, it's gonna be Kimberly. Trained in combat zone wrestling, I mean, she's basically fought men her entire career. Well, you know what? She might fight, her, fight men in her personal and professional career, but she's got a piece of guy with a chick named JT Dunn who keeps fighting. He is bleeding oh, from the mouth. JT Dunn trying to extricate himself. Unfortunately, he slipped back. Well, you know what? He tried to get away from that woman faster than my ex-wife got away from me. But JT Dunn! Oh, grabbed her by the hair! And that's what you get from being a woman in the right sport. Yeah, but you know what? He's got her in the pony yeah. hair, and she yeah. does it. Oh, now she's got a broken back. Good night, kid. Wasting valuable time right here, checking with the official. He thought he had her beat. I did too. And you know what? If she loses this contest, there is no shame in losing to a competitor like JT Debs. The only thing is May Young, Betty Grable, all the greats of female professional wrestling will be doing spinner roomies in their graves, sir. Well, JT Dunn looking for a German suplex. Can't really try to block that waist lock. Dunn clubbing her. to VIP ticket holders here and trapped in the closet. Well, they're just continuing to pay my legal fees for this company to keep them in business. Oh! Cut with that kick. And Kim fires back. You gonna hook up for that crucifix? No! Oh, the guns are bomb! Someone called Chris Nowitzki because they've got another break coming to him. That's it! Come on, come on! Again and again and again, these 